as well as consumer affairs and debt, trading standards often turns its hand to animal health and welfare. Meet animal lover John Gaffney. Very partial to animals, especially if they're surrounded with chips. How are you feeling today, John? Oh, you know, shit, but thanks for asking. Shit, but thanks for asking. Oh, shit, but thanks for asking. Oh, I'm fine, you know, the usual. Fairly hellish. Today, John has had a tip off that birds are being sold illegally on his patch. Keep looking. He's checking the small ads for evidence. July. Well, basically, they're operating an unlicensed pet shop. Um, and it's unfair competition to other licensed play, uh, premises. So, so, I'll have to investigate and see what they've got. Several hours reading the small print later, John's found what he's looking for. Cockatiels, diamond doves, large white garden doves. And it's also interesting to note that there's um, a T in it, which means he's a trader. So if he's a trader, he's not a breeder. He's actually operating a business. Right, on, see you later. John's not a man to be messed with. Unlicensed pet traders, beware. This is just a wee visit to let him know that we know about him and for him to mend the errors of his ways. Just to get, get him licensed the same as everybody else. Accompanied by a colleague, he pays a visit to catch the birdman red-handed. Yes, I am. Oh, yes. Uh, so oh dear, sorry to hear that. Oh well, thanks for telling me. But he's not there, and if the man's been ill and taken it to hospital, that's fine. But his health first, you know, make sure he's okay, and then we can sort everything out after that. Oh well, on to the next job. But as he later discovers. John's heartfelt concern turns out to have been misplaced. No, he wasn't been ill. Um, that was one of his neighbours telling us a porky, you know. He had been ill in the past, yeah, but, but he certainly wasn't ill over the weekend. He may have been inebriated, but we don't know that. They were just trying to protect him. He thought he was in his cell and drugs rather than birds. <laughs> John finally manages to track the birdman down and issues him with a firm warning. If I come across adverts, John, then you're forcing my hand. If he finds another ad, our feathery friend won't be let off so lightly. Right, cheer up, Right, right. Meanwhile, animal man John Gaffney is dealing with an unusual case of his own. Looking for cow pats. It's a big job, but someone has to do it. Yeah, we're checking for cowpats on the playing field. Apparently there's a report of cattle being loose and um, being on these fields. Oh, the problem with the cattle getting on the playing fields is the risk of the E. coli bug. Now, it certainly looks like a cowpat, but it's not. <laughs> Go on, there's a cowpat. So the cattle have been here. Well, I mean, it's lush grass. The cattle are over there. If they get through their fence and they come out and they see lush grass there, it's a wee bit like seeing a, fish, a new fish and chip shop we want to try out. But we don't know whether the fences have been vandalised or whatever, but we can go and make the farmer aware of it, and I'm sure that he'll sort it, sort it out. I'd be more worried about the dog packs. Now, there's some rabbit packs. We've got a complete set here. Rabbit, dog, cattle, no sheep mind. So, after words with the farmer, that's another mess cleaned up. 